Workload Identity allows workloads in your Google Kubernetes Engine or GKE clusters to impersonate Identity and Access Management or IAM service accounts so that they can access Google Cloud services. Without Workload Identity enabled, your workloads will use your GKE node's default service account. In this video, we'll show you how to enable Workload Identity on your GKE cluster and configure your apps to use it. You can enable Workload Identity using the Cloud Console, the Google Cloud CLI, or the REST API. We'll first use the Cloud Console to enable Workload Identity on an existing cluster, and then we'll use the CLI to configure an app to use Workload Identity. Let's get started! Go to the Kubernetes Engine page. Select your cluster. Scroll down to the Security section. And under this section, click the Edit icon next to Workload Identity. Click the box to enable Workload Identity, then save your changes. After a few minutes, your cluster is enabled with Workload Identity. Congratulations! You now have a Workload Identity enabled cluster. The node pool that we used already had a test pod running. Let's see which service account it uses. First, we'll connect to the cluster. Great, we're in. Let's exec into the test pod. Then, run the following command, gcloud auth list, to find out which Google service account is used. It shows our node's default service account. Let's configure our pod to use workload identity instead. Now, we'll use the Google Cloud CLI to tell an existing node pool to use workload identity. We'll exit our test pod, then update the node pool to use the GKE metadata server. This will take a few minutes. You can also create a new node pool. When your cluster has workload identity enabled, any new node pools will too. Next, create an IAM service account for our pod to impersonate. Now, we need to bind the Kubernetes service account that our pod uses to the IAM service account that we created. Allow the Kubernetes service account to impersonate the Google service account by adding an IAM policy binding between the two service accounts. In our case, we're using the default Kubernetes service account in the default namespace. Next, annotate the Kubernetes service account so that Workload Identity knows which Google service account to use. Workload Identity is now configured with the specified Google service account. Great! We have successfully enabled and configured Workload Identity on our GKE cluster. Time to test it out! Remember the test pod was using the default node service account earlier. Let's see which service account is being used now. Let's exec back into the test pod and run gcloud auth list. It now shows the Google service account we just created and configured. That's because we bound our default Kubernetes service account to the IAM service account. So the pod was able to impersonate the IAM service account. Congratulations! You now have a workload identity enabled GKE cluster configured to use an IAM service account with your workload. Read more about workload identity in the documentation.